I was still beautiful when I was fat. Okay, let's not get it twisted. I was a cutie patootie and not much has changed in that department. But I feel like when we tell someone they're beautiful, we would like to know what else they think about them. Like you're beautiful and what else? And especially when we evaluate that in ourselves, it's important to consider more than just your personality or your intelligence, but How comfortable do you feel functioning in the body that you're living in? Because there's this attachment to the belief that fat bodies can be beautiful, which I completely believe myself. But having lived in a fat body, I was more uncomfortable with how that body functioned than how that body looked. And that's what drove me to change my lifestyle habits, honestly. And I feel like the attachment to, oh, my body's beautiful can be a damaging mindset, especially if you're living in a body that is deeply uncomfortable to function in. And it's like when someone sees someone lose a lot of weight, they assume that person hated the way they looked so much that they were forced to change and align with the cultural beauty standards. Not that, oh, I don't even like getting up in the morning and I don't want to go on a hike. I don't want to go upstairs. I don't even want to play with my children because I've talked with so many people in the gym. Okay. I'm a chatty Kathy in there. I've met so many grandmas, grandpas, dads, and moms who have gone in there just to incorporate a little bit of activity, maybe lose some weight so they can play around with their kids, grandkids, go on a hike with their family next month. And a lot of people have this idea and mentality, this all or nothing mentality with fitness. Like if I get into diet and and fitness, then that means I have to be skinny. Not the case. When I say function, I truly do mean function. Just incorporate activity. Tune up your diet a little bit and be able to function better. Regardless of how you look, functioning better makes you forget how you look. Honestly, it is such a breath of fresh air. You don't have to be stick thin. I'm not saying that, but I encourage people to prioritize functioning in a way that they would like to function rather than looking a way they would like to look. You know, you might be fat and beautiful, but can you do all the things in life that you want to do physically? And if the shoe doesn't fit, don't wear it. And if it does, you know what to do.